So this Router 3 is really, really interesting. And it's not just interesting because I'm saying it's interesting. It's interesting because it offers Wi-Fi 6 at a price tag of 69 pounds. This is the cheapest Wi-Fi 6 router currently on the market. But the question is, is it any good? Well, let's find out. So front and centre here we've got the router itself, let's take this out, surprisingly enough very lightweight, also very very small, it's about the size of my hand here. You've got four huge foldable antennas which is nice to see here, we've got the Honor logo there on the right hand side of the router, a WPS button in the middle, and then on the reverse side we've got four gigabit ethernet ports here, one WAN and three LAN, we've got our power in and a reset button. Now Honor were kind enough to send out this router for this video and they've also given me a link in the description so you guys can get some offers and discounts from Honor and I'm also going to be giving away some codes at the end of the video. Ethernet cable here, power cable here and some instructions. That seems to be it. Okay, so I've managed to get this thing all plugged in to my network. It's all been set up. I want to walk you guys through the setup process because it was actually super, super simple. Now the whole process was basically done on my phone by downloading the AI Life app from the app gallery. It started out by detecting my internet connection which is brought to the router by the WAN port via this ethernet cable here. It then asked me to create a Wi-Fi name and password and it gave me the option if I wanted to to segregate the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. Now what I'm not going to do is talk too much about the details of Wi-Fi 6 because we've done a video about that so you guys can watch it. Uh, up there if you would like to. One thing that I did note though is that it gave me the option to have a backwards compatible 5 gigahertz only network for, and it said, devices that don't support Wi-Fi 6, which was nice to see. Now once the setup was complete, it threw me onto this page, and I'm going to pick up my phone now and go through live what you can actually do inside of the app for this router, and preface this by saying it's quite basic, but what you need is there. So straight away you are displayed with this graph, which essentially tells you at any given time what is going on on your network. So if things are running a little bit slow, you can log on to here and see if somebody is using all of your bandwidth. Below that you get the devices that are online with the amount of data that they are currently using. So you can then pinpoint who is hogging up all of your bandwidth. I like that this is really simple and there for you as soon as you open the app. One thing that I found that's really cool is this Wi-Fi I relay. Now if I click on this, it says it's unavailable because there's an ethernet plugged in. But I think this thing can act as a wireless repeater, which is really cool. Moving swiftly on, you can do things like toggle on and off a guest Wi-Fi for guests. If you've got them in your house, you can do a full on Wi-Fi timer to turn the entire Wi-Fi off at any given point. What I've actually got here is a long range 5 gigahertz access point. So what we're going to do first is do the range test with these two right next to each other. And I'm going to go to some different locations around the office run some speed tests versus Wi-Fi 5. So Wi-Fi 5 versus Wi-Fi 6 at three different locations. And now here are those results. As you can see, floor one, we're about the same, 69 to 70. Floor two, Wi-Fi 5 starts to struggle a little bit. And then floor three, this is the really interesting one because we've actually got two huge, big, thick brick floors in between us and the access point. And as you can see, Wi-Fi 6 is pulling through here. Nice to see. Now, like with all of my router or access point reviews, I like to bring them home, actually back to my house, because this is where you're going to be using a device like this. I like to use it for a sustained period of time to make sure there's no dropouts or dead zones. Now the first test I did when I got back home was the speed test. So I connected to my NAS drive directly via an ethernet cable and transferred a 1.5 gigabyte file in 12 seconds and then connected to the Wi-Fi 6 band on the Honor router and it managed it in about 18 seconds. Which if you're wondering is about 88 megabytes per second. So that is really fast. I've got no problems with the Wi-Fi 6 capabilities of this router. 
Now, after living with the Router 3 in my house, supplying internet to, well, everywhere in my house, including all of my wired devices, I essentially had this thing set up as my router. The first thing I noticed is how nice this thing actually looks for a cheap router. Like, this thing just does look the part, and I'm not just saying that. It looks great compared to some of the other horrible spider-like routers out there, if that makes sense. So I'm just giving that kudos there. Now, as you saw, I set this router up a couple of days ago in my office via my phone, via the app that was downloaded from the App Store. And I was complaining that it didn't have a few features in the app, like the ability to change the Wi-Fi channel. But that changed once you actually log on to the admin console of the router via your web browser by going to 192.168.3. Dot one. From there, I pretty much saw all of the information that I was missing in the mobile app. I could go into the Wi-Fi settings, I could change the channel, I could go in and even change the Wi-Fi modes and turn off Wi-Fi 6 if I wanted to. There was a whole sheet where you could go ahead and do the parental controls, you could see all of the devices connected. It was pretty much a full-on router, which was nice to see. I thought they were going to lock this thing down with the cheap price and from what I saw with the app. So it was nice to see that you even had controls for things like UPnP and NAT right in the web configuration of this thing. Now one thing that I think is really overlooked is 2.4 gigahertz but with Wi-Fi 6 2.4 gigahertz is actually great because not only does it improve the 5 gigahertz band it also improves the 2.4 gigahertz band by giving it extra range and extra speed. So for example I was able to watch a full 4k YouTube video on my phone streaming from the Honor Route on the 2.4 gigahertz band when the router was at the opposite end of my house and my phone was well above us in my bedroom. 2.4 gigahertz usually shouldn't be able to support anything above 1440p just because of its speed limitations but with the advancements in Wi-Fi 6 which obviously this router has it wasn't a problem whatsoever. I was also really pleasantly surprised that you can go ahead and disable the routing function of this wireless router. Now, why would you do that? Well, let's say you've already got a home network installed like I do in my house and you just want to have a Wi-Fi 6 access point without all the routing capabilities. Well, you can do that. You put this thing in access point mode. It's there. You can't do it in the app, but you can do it in the web config. And this thing will simply act as a Wi-Fi 6 access point, which is absolutely insane. So you've got yourself a Wi-Fi 6 access point for less than £70. I don't think anything else comes close to that on the market at the moment. Looking through Amazon, they're all 200 odd £300 for a Wi-Fi 6 router or access point. So you could buy a couple of these, have one one end of your house, one the other, and you've got a full Wi-Fi 6 mesh network all over your house and have these two cabled back to a main router. I think that is really invaluable. So Alex, what's your thoughts? Well, I think if you're in the market for a Wi-Fi 6 router and you don't need to go into the back end and do a hell of a load of config and you want something that's pretty easy to set up, I have mine set up in less than two minutes via a mobile app on my phone. And again, I think that's invaluable for the large majority of people who don't want to deal with a web config. I think this router is really, really good. I've had it running in my house for the last two days. I've had no dropouts, the signal's been great. I've been happy with the Wi-Fi 6 performance. Honestly, I wholeheartedly recommend this Router 3 from Honor. I think it's great, and I think if you picked one up for the price, I really don't think, well, you'd find much to complain about, because it pretty much it just does it. So guys, that's been it for the Router 3 review. This has been heavily requested, so I'm finally happy that I've got it out the way. And I wanted to remind you guys, you can visit the Hi Honda website for special offers and sign up to get some new deals if you'd like to. I'll put those links in the description. And we're also running a giveaway on our Techflow Picks Instagram page for some 50% codes. And I've also pinned some codes in the comments that are there for a first come, first serve basis for the Hi Honor website. So you guys can go ahead and enjoy those. But for now, my name's been Alex, this has been the Router 3 review, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.